I wish I had done more with my 20-year-old titties. <laughs> I do. I feel like more. I feel like more people should have seen them. Yeah. <laughs> Right? I wasted them. I wasted them. I see these girls on Instagram, they getting paid. I could have had a Maserati by now, you know what I mean? I don't want y'all to, they all right now. They, I don't want y'all to think I'm walking around with trash tits or anything, but. <laughs> back then? Back then. You couldn't even look at them directly, you know what I mean? It's like trying to, stare into the sun. That's how amazing my tits were. I don't know. I messed up, I messed up. I can't, now I'm on the phone with Sally Mae like, oh, I can't send you a payment because I wore turtlenecks all through my 20s, you know? <laughs> I'm like, super. y'all are laughing, but I'm very upset about this. Very upset about this. I decided I'm gonna start a support group for the formerly hot. <laughs> right? Just me and a bunch of broads sitting around talking about our old titties and <laughs> when men used to buy us shit just for existing. <laughs> you know, that was the life, you know? Everybody's not gonna get it, right? They're gonna be hating. Why y'all meeting all the time? You narcissistic. They're not gonna get it, right? <laughs> and that's because people who've been ugly their whole life. <laughs> they don't understand this special kind of pain <laughs> that I'm feeling, you know? I had to buy my own drink at a bar the other night, I almost killed myself. <laughs> <laughs> this is bullshit. That was all a big, build up so I can say that mean joke. See, y'all was feeling sorry for me. Oh, you're still pretty. No, I'm just a horrible person with, <laughs> with still acceptable titties. Uh, <laughs> I'm a hard person to deal with. It's because I grew up with a macho 80s dad. That's who raised me. You guys remember those guys? Like, there was a time in the 80s where black dudes were really into kung fu. <laughs> you remember that? Like my dad used to practice nunchucks in the mirror. Like, Non-ironically, like straight up. <laughs> he used to wear action jeans. Those were jeans specially made for sidekicking and shit, right? That's who I grew up with. So I don't know anything about men, you know? I don't think a man could come up to me, oh, I'm nice, I got my shit together, I got the house, I got the car, I got the 401k, and I'm like, yeah, but what your nuntuck skills look like, you know? Like, can you protect me from ninjas to get the fuck out of my face? My dad thought wrestling was real, like one of those. Like he would fight you if you said that wrestling was fake. Like one of those people. That's why it was so sad when Hulk Hogan said nigger in his uh, porno earlier this year. You guys remember that? Said the N word in his porno. I watched the porno, I didn't hear him say it, but I was paying attention to the important shit. I don't know. I don't know. It was just sad. I'm, I'm so glad my dad died before that happened because he would have killed himself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I could just see him. Sadly, someone the sleeves on all his t-shirts. <laughs> Devastated. So glad he missed it. It's a lot of stuff going on in the world. The world has always been messed up, but it just seems like it's all in our face, right? Because of the internet. I spend a lot of time online, typing in all caps. All right? Blocking, unfriending, like a revolutionary, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm doing the hard work, All right? I see people online, they say stuff like, if you want racism to die out, 
We just gotta wait for all the old people to die. You ever heard anybody say that? Just wait for all the old people to die. Meanwhile, I'm in the gym. This 80-year-old white dude's next to me deadlifting 800 pounds and shit. They not dying. They not dying. That's all CrossFit is, is a racism training camp. I don't know. Don't know if you do that. I was online just recently. I was on Twitter talking shit. That's what I do. I'm a comedian. <laughs> and this guy, he called me a gorilla on Twitter. Right? I know. That kind of stuff don't faze me. It just made me think, you know, how empty is your soul? You know? Like, where's your sense of wonder? <laughs> you know? Here you are. You talking to a gorilla. <laughs> I'm on a computer. I'm typing, you know? I know what Twitter is. Why are you not like, holy shit? <laughs> <laughs> the world is amazing. Like, why would you? Why would you be mad at that? Racists are stupid. Uh, that guy, when he called me that, I immediately friended him. And I went all in his, uh, his pictures. I was looking around. He had a picture of himself. He's in a hospital. He has a huge gash in his head. He's on a respirator. So I wrote him a note privately. I said, I see you're in a hospital, and I'm sorry to see that, right? Like an hour went by, he wrote me back. He said, uh, thank you for saying that. I'm a vet. Uh, now I'm on disability. I don't really get to leave the house too much. I don't really get to talk to anybody. Just a long, long, sob story. And people don't know, but I'm like the racist whisperer online. <laughs> I am. I get racist and trolls to apologize to me all the time. I don't have a day job. It's kind of a hobby. <laughs> Long story short, probably going to his house for Christmas this year. All right? He's gonna murder me, but what I'm saying is, technology brings people together, folks. <laughs> 